Hey, hi, I'm Jonathan Neely. I write for Sky Magazine and Inside Breaks. And I'm here with Padea High School coach Michael Baccarini. Um, you're the, the overall head coach of the program, or do you coach just the boys at this point? Primarily just the boys. I, we have a junior high uh, mixed uh, co ed team, okay. squad too, that I coach in the fall. Okay. Michael, the reason I've got you here today is because uh, yesterday, Leila Tanel for the, the women's division and George Stubbs for the Open were both named the Callahan Award winners. And uh, first of all, you've got to be all, you've got to be very proud of that, right? Oh, absolutely. Beyond, I mean, beaming with pride. I guess that'd be putting it lightly. Yeah. So, what does it mean beyond yourself to, to your program to produce two winners in the same year? Uh, I mean, I, I, that's never been done before, as long as, uh, as far as I know. Um, it means a lot, particularly for our, I mean, we have a tiny school, so uh, like yourself from Northwest, I mean, there's not many kids to, to pull from and to see them develop to this level. Uh, and having had a couple of prior winners, it really, I think it speaks a lot to the success of the program, and that's, it's easy to feel proud about that. But these two kids, uh, like young adults, I should say now, I taught them in grade school, both of them, to see the kind of, not just athletes they become, and players and leaders, but the kind of people they become, it's just... I think I think the Callahan recognizes that in all of the nominees, and I think it's uh, it's tremendous that it went to those two. And I'm not surprised when I really think about it. Yeah, Amherst has been racking up open winners the past couple of years. What's it mean to uh, to gain in that? Uh, well, I guess we have uh, like 100 percent more Callahan winners than Amherst does. Okay. Um, it's a <laughs> But uh, I, those, that's such a great program too, and I mean, uh, all the respect in the world for what Tina just keeps doing there, and, and Josh Nugent taking over the women's program, the girls program. They're just they're great. But uh, it's, it's I wish we had more opportunities to play those guys throughout the year, and to play a school like Northwest or all the other schools in the country. Hopefully, that our uh, junior programs will keep building so that we can uh, get those competitions to happen. When players like George and Leela are in high school. Uh, what is it like to realize and recognize that there is something special about it? Well, I mean, uh, for one, at Paideia, I think we, we all borrow the same kids for every sport. So uh, Lila was pretty good on the basketball court. I think that showed. George was a tremendous soccer player. Everybody wanted him for every sport. I mean, both Lila and George were that way. Um, and I think that uh, you could see things early on that they had gifted you know, hand-eye and certainly just some, some great uh, potential in whatever direction they chose. Uh, I don't really recruit the school. I don't like to try to pull them in. They just sort of like navigate towards uh, ultimate, uh, which is a great thing. I think it's in the I think it's in the water on the campus of Pineda, which I think it's good. I've been spiking the water for years. I should just say that. Uh, for whatever reason, those guys chose chose ultimate, and I'm really glad they did. Um, you know, because I people followed them. Grant Lindsley decided to, to start playing ultimate at Pineda too, because uh, George and athletes like that of that level. Um, we're playing. It just uh, it opened up uh, a whole new level of athletes. Uh, we've had we've Dylan Tanell and others who've been really strong. Uh, Miranda Roth, obviously both both boys and girls, but uh, this really solidified it too with those guys because they're just they were part of a big uh, growth spurt in the program, I think, and they helped really push it. So uh, now looking ahead, just the rest of the tournament. Speaking of Grant, uh, he's had a great year with Carlton. Uh, many people thought he would be up there in the Callahan voting had he been nominated. What do you think of this upcoming matchup with Wisconsin and his teams? Well, it's a great one. I know they know each other obviously quite well. Probably are not real fond of playing one another either. Yet some of them are teammates on Sub Zero or whatever. So I know there's a great. Uh, it's, it's got. It's got. It's a recipe for a pretty combustible game. But also, I'm hoping it's going to be clean. Uh, the wind is going to make it a little bit hard to keep it that way. It's going to be a little ugly. But uh, I think the speed matchups, height matchups, they, they match up really quite well. and They know each other so well. So I think it's going to be a great game. Yeah. And uh, last question. You know, Carlton is a program that. I don't think they take anybody really who hasn't played in high school, uh, and that's just the way it, the way it goes. A lot of high school players from Idea, from Amherst, from all over the country are looking to go to schools like Carlton. Do you think? Uh, and then, you, well, you you look at that compared to Wisconsin, where many of their players did play in high school, and uh, you can you can see two different approaches to building quality teams. Uh, you know, do you think that five years from now at Nationals, we're going to see a lot more players who are graduates of high school programs, or do you think that teams like Wisconsin? Athletes in their freshman year of college and turn them into studs by the time they're juniors and seniors. I think we'll still see that while the while the sport's growing. But uh, to be honest with you, uh, Wisconsin's loaded with high school players: Hopkins, Madison West, uh, Memo Madison Memorial. They got pipelines to these to these programs. Made it because Feldman went to Hopkins and he keeps going back, and they're actively recruiting. Those guys in Colorado probably recruit more than anybody actively. 
Uh, so there's actually quite a few folks uh, on Madison. So I think they've, I mean, on uh, uh, Wisconsin's team that come from programs, maybe not as of the caliber of the Amherst or uh, North, Northwest or some of the really strongest ones. Some of them are because Hopkins is quite quite a program. Um, but we're going to still see until until all of the high schools start getting on a par where these kids come out with great fundamentals. You're going to still have athletes who probably played some other sport in high school come on your campus and you're going, hey, look, I saw a kid throwing the quad. You, you see him, he's jumping out of the sky. You, know, you see the calves on that guy? we got to get him out of here. You know what I mean? You're going to keep doing that. I would too. And eventually, though, you see kids coming exclusively out of high school with all the bread and butter fundamentals. It's going to raise the game higher from where it is now. All right, well, Michael, we really appreciate it. Thanks for talking to us about, uh, about the Callahan. And, and beyond. And uh, thanks a lot. Have a good time. Appreciate it. Thanks.